we're live, whether you want us to be or not, to be honest. We're just going to do it. Now here to give us the details on Lara Croft, Tomb Raider legend, is senior designer Riley Cooper and lead artist Toby Gard, who happens to be the creator of Miss Croft herself. Guys, welcome to the show. Thank Thanks you. for coming on. Thank you. I have to ask, uh, uh, Toby, uh, uh, first of all, why the redesign? Well, um, we needed to make her more modern. We wanted to make people be able to relate to her and see that this is a new game that we've really pushed the franchise forward, and we wanted to make sure that she came across as a living, real, breathing character. So. Okay. Uh, that I accept. Now, Riley, you have to push the franchise forward. Here comes the question that I'm sure you get asked a thousand times. Yeah. Gamers know this franchise, I mean, this came out with more clout and more push than any other franchise in the world, and they keep saying, well, don't worry, the next game's going to be the one that brings her back. Angel of Darkness is going to be the one that, you know, Laura's coming back with a vengeance. She's shooting with both guns. Didn't really happen. Is yeah. this the game where it's going to happen? Yeah, it is. It is. And uh, one thing we've done differently on this one is we've tried not to have people take our word for it. Right. We've made a demo so you can play yourself, um, which you should Wait, so you're letting the game it. speak for itself? Exactly. You're not supposed to do that in the video game world. You know this, right? You're supposed yeah, to... Well, we talk to, but, you know, that the... the the real push is just putting it in people's hands and watching them play. And invariably, when we do that, people just strum right through and have a great time. So what's, what's new? What's actually going on in this adventure? What, what separates this from previous Tomb Raider games? Well, the, the two biggest things are, like Toby said, we have a much more real Lara, and, that, and her controls, you know, as far as game design, has come where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we're off the grid system, which fans of the Tomb Raider series are far too familiar with. You can just run and jump and great. swing and slide. How you would expect. And it's is really this, uh, what, what version of the game are we actually taking a look at here? Is this the 360 or? Uh, this is the 360 version, Very I believe. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Now, Toby, getting back to the redesign, uh, you wanted to make her a little more realistic. How did you go about actually doing that? Uh, well, one of the things we did was we worked on um, normalizing some of her proportions a little bit. Um, you didn't uh, touch any of the good proportions, did you? <laughs> no, we tried not to. Okay, leave those the same. Those were fine. You yeah. don't have to touch any of those polys. But, I mean, uh, she did have rather an oddly large... Yeah, the head. original the original Laura was a little, little squarish. Yeah, yeah, so uh, we uh, put in uh, more muscle, more bone structure, um, skin that looks sort of more realistic, and, you know, just the detail, really, that, that makes someone s stop looking like it, just a sketch. If I gave you an extra 7,000 polys to put anywhere on Laura, where are they going? I think... Where are they going? Come on now. Are you all right? See, oh, immediately yeah. wanted to... No, I think they'd, they'd go pretty much all over. I mean, we'd, I mean, hair, more hair physics, like teeth and just, you know, muscle. Very just safe details. answer, Toby. Very yeah. safe answer, and I appreciate that. That's... You're a gentleman. Yeah. I like that about yeah. you. Riley, uh, what, I, I'm told that Laura has a bit of a skill set, a little bit more flexibility and movement in this, and, and that you, had, you, you took that into account when it came to level design. Quickly tell me, what, what is that about? What is her new skill set? Well, I mean, like I was saying before, just um, she can do everything that you've always wanted her to do, just oh, a lot crab more walk? easily. Um, if you wanted crab walk, you'll be disappointed. Oh, yeah. All right, sorry. All right. I'll we stick to my fan fiction it. sites. I bet you did. Yeah, did yeah. you at least do the motion capture session? Because uh, it was in the mocap section. Nice. Actually, it's all hand animation. Is it really? Yeah, it's yeah. all. Yeah. Is it? Does that give you a more natural feel and a natural look, or uh, was that? We mean... feel like we can get um, at least the same quality bar or better. Well, it's actually, yeah, like because she's an exaggerated character as well. It's like important that that she has slightly exaggerated. Actions too. I, I think you can exaggerate as much as you want because I know I do whenever I'm describing Lana. So, <laughs> gentlemen, thank you for coming on and sharing the game with us. Best of luck. Thank you. We appreciate your time. Be sure to keep an eye out for Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend hitting store shelves on April 25th. But don't go anywhere because the very lovely and very tangible Lara Croft is here live in studio. Guys, yeah, feel free to gawk along with us at home. It's coming up right after this. You're watching G4, the number one podcasted network in America. Wall to wall game reviews. Always. All right, now listen, you've stared at her digital curves and you've completed all of her sensuous levels, but joining us today is the real deal, Karima Adbib, the one, the only official Lara Croft Tomb Raider spokesmodel. Karima, thank you. Thank you. I'm for happy for to be here. gracing us with your, with your presence here. This is amazing. I never thought it'd be off the monitor, so, so thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. How did you, uh, first of all, congratulations. This is thank a big you. deal. How long have you known that you were going to be the, the official Tomb Raider? Well, I've known about three months, but the unveiling was actually last week on February 14th for Lara's birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday to her thank and yourself. You. Now, uh, were you familiar with the franchise before? How did you, how did you get the, the gig from IDOT? Oh, absolutely. Um, I've known Lara for about 10 years. I had the first two games. I've just followed her throughout her career. Um, and how did I get the gig? Yes. Well, IDOS held an international search um, for about over a thousand girls. So um, I got put up 
by my agency because I was modeling in London at the time mm -hmm. and I got a call back for another audition where I had to dress up as Laura, you know, gun moves, do my thing. Did you make your, did you have to make your own outfit or did they provide you with No, a... they provided the outfit. Oh, okay, okay. And then I had to come back um, to meet all the bosses. Um, and then it was down to three girls, and I'm here today. You didn't shoot any wolves or uh, the backflip off conference room tables? Well, I or? did threaten the bosses. If they didn't choose me, they were going to be in trouble. That's a And girl. I think that was quite good. Now, I have to say, I saw a movie a while back with, I believe it was, Lara Croft in it. Uh, and, and Laura was, uh, it was this girl, uh, this uh, Angelina, I don't, whatever. This girl, Angelina. this Angelina. Uh, the question is, could you take her down? Could you take Angelina? Well, I think I'm bigger than her. And yes. I'm probably stronger than her. Probably. So follow up to but that one. But she's definitely been the best Tomb Raider, the best gonna, Lara Croft in my eyes to date. I'm going to agree with that. But if you could take her down, would you be willing to film it and send it to me? Well, to if I Gmail did, account? I'd quite like to rewatch it myself, so... Yeah. <laughs> good, good. That's good. Now, now I noticed that you have the holster. You're, you're completely I do. equipped. Well, I'm actually missing some of my things. I'm missing my grenades, and oh. these aren't really What's my, a girl to do with my normal grenades? guns? Because they wouldn't let me through customs, which I'm not very happy about. It's, oh, really? Yeah, Here at LAX, they let anybody through. It doesn't matter what kind of explosive you have. Well, you know. I guess, I guess you were an unfortunate one. Have you had any training with the guns, or are you going to get any official well, firearm I, training? Well, actually, I'm, I'm going, as uh, soon as I'm done on the mini tour here in the States, I'm going back to London. I'm going off to Croatia to do... Um, well, get a, a degree in firearms, I guess. Not bad. Yeah, so quite exciting stuff. It would be, I would love for you to come back to the show because it would be an honor to take a pot shot from you, if you don't mind. No problem. Karima, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Congrats no again on the Thank gig. You. That's awesome.